Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a list of 20 things you must have for your Amtrak trip. All right, so uh, we use all of these items that we're going to go over today, um, and we get lots of questions about these items. You guys are very observant in our videos, right? We get a lot yeah. of comments about some of the things like, oh, what was that white thing when you were doing this? So there's a lot of questions about these things. So we're going to show you what all of them are now. Um, to get these items, if you want to get these exact items that we use, just go straight to our website, groundedlifetravel.com. We'll also put a link to the article on our website that has the link to all of these specific items. So that'll make it super easy for you. Right. And by we, I mean Rob did it. Because <laughs> <laughs> he does all the technical stuff on the website. So the very first thing that we get the most millions. I feel like millions, probably not, but it feels like millions of requests for the link to this guy. This is our uh, universal adapter. And as you can see, it has all the different, it looks kind of funky, right? Well, that's because you can use it in pretty much any country in the world. So it has these little uh, sliders right here um, where you can use it in the USA and Australia, UK and EU and then of course um, the corresponding other countries as well like Asia um, and they just slide right out and then you've got your adapter right there but why we use this on the train is because of this on top so up here you can see that there are four USB ports and this is amazing because as you know, if you've seen a tour of our uh, rooms, room tours on the trains, you'll know that there's usually only one, two at the most, but usually only one in a roomette mm -hmm. um, outlet. And so these guys really help us because of course we're always charging like always. a million things. And we have cameras, like. phones, yep. computers. All kinds of batteries and things. So this is uh, one of our best friends, this adapter, universal yeah. adapter. So make sure you guys grab one of those if you're gonna be on the train and you have more than one thing to charge. And that's about $20. Uh, they come in packs of one or two. Mm -hmm. You only need one because mm -hmm. there's only one outlet on the train. <laughs> so uh, you're not gonna be able to use two for the most part. So that is a must have. If you, yes. if you don't have that, you're gonna be trying to just charge mm -hmm. things all night if you have mm -hmm. two people with two trying phones, to rotate them yeah you yeah. gotta rotate you'll be waking up in the middle of the night mm -hmm. to plug stuff in no good yeah get one of those that's and perfect it'll solve all your amtrak yeah. problems and not only do you have those four usb ports but while you're using the usb ports you can also use the outlet in the front as well mm -hmm. so you can actually charge five things which i'm not gonna lie to you we have done before yeah because <laughs> we were charging stuff and then I took a shower and I was going to try to dry my hair. So I plugged my hair dryer into this. <laughs> item two. This is Allie's item. And these are the <laughs> Bose Sleep Buds 2. Uh, you do not want to get the Bose Sleep Buds 1. But you want to get the Bose <laughs> Sleep Buds 2. Tell us why you love these. Okay. I love these little guys. Look at how tiny they are. They fit right into my ear. And they have this little loop that makes it super easy to just pop right out. But... They're noise canceling um, uh, earbuds. And the thing is, is you could just use any, um, you know, kind of headphones or like AirPods. I have all those things, but these have a, um, a battery that lasts more than 12 hours. So the problem if you use like AirPods or your headphones is your battery is only going to last anywhere from four to eight hour, four to eight hours depending on what you have so these are the ones for you i like to sleep in now that i don't have to get up at any particular time <laughs> and especially on the train i like to sleep in i don't know why that is um but i don't know if it's just because i'm comfy and cozy but i do like to, i love these mm -hmm. i love these all the time but there is one thing about those mm. you can't listen to music on them you cannot no they are only for noise 
cancellation and neutral and you can ch you choose the uh, the the sound and you choose the volume so you can have it real loud or you can have it just moderate just depends on how much you want to hear while you have these on so yeah you can only you can't use these as a replacement so i do still have my my um you know earphones another big question we get is what camera mm -hmm. do we use people want to document <laughs> their trips so this is what we currently have and this is the GoPro Hero Black, and this is the 9. Uh, they just came out with the 11, mm. so we're actually going to buy that. And <laughs> so it's we'll have that next almost time. no different than the mm. 9, honestly. Um, but our 9 is breaking. We've dropped it several times. Multiple times. And we have two of them, actually. <laughs> And we've dropped them both multiple <laughs> times. So we're going to get an 11. Hopefully not drop it for a few months. But Hopefully. it just comes with the, the camera, which is this. And then we also have on it the mod case, the which is mod. this mm -hmm. case around it. And that allows you to put this light on, which we honestly don't really use very often. Mm -mm. If you see like a weird... Uh, kind of light on our video it's probably because we have that probably because we use that <laughs> and then this microphone externally just provides better sound we do use that mm -hmm. and then this is uh like a, a grip and it folds out into a tripod also so mm -hmm. yeah i do love that we one. can set it on the table when we're eating mm -hmm. dinner or something but uh -huh. you've probably if you've been on the trains with us you probably saw this sitting on the table as a tripod kind of set out like that sitting at the table while we were recording ourselves eating a meal <laughs> <laughs> so that's a good camera uh we talk about a lot about having a food bag or something you can just like carry an overnight bag mm -hmm. overnight stuff snacks whatever and this is what we use it's the columbia uh 30 liter duffel bag and, and I know that doesn't look very exciting, does it? No. Until you unzip it's it. That's unexciting. what I love about this bag is we travel with this all the time. If you guys know, we travel full time. Um, so this is actually super helpful when we're trying to take a short trip within a big trip and we can leave our stuff somewhere. So this just stuffs itself into itself. And it's actually, ta-da, a bag, a big duffel bag. It's pretty big. Which is really nice. And it has a little zip uh, pocket here for quick access stuff. And then the pocket that we stuffed it in is the pocket that's inside. So this is actually where the bag lives <laughs> is in this pocket here um, within the bag. So this is actually fantastic um, to have with you if you travel at all, even not even just for the train. But we use this. You'll, you'll likely see us with this on the train. This is our overnight bag that we keep in our room with us with all of our uh, overnight stuff, pajamas, slippers, mm -hmm. my sleep buds. <laughs> all that good stuff. <laughs> Next up, we have another bag, which is my uh -huh. camera bag. And this is a low pro bag. And it's got basically room in there. We generally mm -hmm. keep our GoPro and our cameras in here. Mm -hmm. And I generally throw any other electronics that I want to take with us. Mm -hmm. We get a lot of questions about locking the doors on the roomettes. Or mm -hmm. even if you're in coach and you want to go to the dining car or the cafe, people are always concerned because you can't lock a roomette door when you mm -hmm. leave. You you have to leave all your stuff in the room and yes, yeah, someone could come by, open the door and take something out. Now that is pretty unlikely to happen. Uh, we've never even heard of it happening. But if you have expensive stuff, when we go to uh, a meal, go to the dining car, go to the observation car, this is the bag. Just don't leave anything expensive in your room. Put it in a bag like this. Mm -hmm. You can take it with you, mm -hmm. and you're good to go. You don't yep. have to worry about it. So easy peasy. And this does also come with a. It comes with a divider, like a Velcro divider in the middle here, um, but we don't use it because we keep all our stuff laying down, stacked up in there. Because exactly. we shove so much of our stuff in there to keep with us on the train. Let's <laughs> talk about the bathroom. Because uh -huh. you got to be prepared for the bathroom, <laughs> or you're gonna have a mess. So. The first thing is you got to have your hands free in the bathroom because 
the train's gonna be going back and forth and you may need to brace the wall <laughs> and you can't be holding things you the counter sound like it's a run the counter's train. tiny well it can be it can it can uh, be the counter is tiny there's not a lot of room to set stuff uh -huh. so you do not want to be holding your toiletry bag like Correct. under your arm or something <laughs> that's where this thing comes into play yes so this is rob's toiletry bag and i'll spare you seeing the inside that is as it is as i would refer to it a bit untidy but um if you open it's actually not that bad um if you open it up see whoop, these are all band-aids <laughs> um, but if you open it up like this you'll see it does have a hook and there is a hook on the back of the bathroom door easily you can hang that and then you don't have to worry about this falling onto the floor in the bathroom like yeah you really don't want your toiletries yeah. you, on the floor in do, the bathroom you so do need this one that hangs perfect yeah, yeah. and it, it's a really nice bag it's it's compact and just enough room for all your stuff isn't it it is yeah because if it ha if it's open like that and it's hanging mm -hmm. when you're like using your toothpaste mm -hmm. you can just put it back in instead yeah. of having if you like try to set stuff on the counter mm -mm. and it hits a bump that's gone <laughs> that's on the floor and you're not gonna want it's gonna be gone to use that <laughs> second thing is when you're going to the bathroom uh -huh. you want to have flip-flops mm -hmm. and <laughs> if you're on the upper bunk like i am usually or always <laughs> and you're on the, or, or you're on the lower bunk you just want to set your flip-flops right at the mm -hmm. bottom right next to the door so in the middle of the night you don't have mm -hmm. to spend a lot of time trying to find shoes because mm -hmm. you, you can't sleep with these up there but you, you just need something mm -hmm. small yeah. so these are what i wear and they are the billabong flip-flops got them right from amazon I think they're $29. Mm -hmm. They've been pretty good. It looks like it's yeah. time for new ones. Yeah. But um, <laughs> they've been very good. <laughs> so there is that. Yeah. Uh, we The next thing we have is we get a lot of questions about is our backpacks. Yes. And we definitely uh, purchase these with intent because they are mm -hmm. special to us. So this one is mine. This is uh -huh. the Endurax. I'm going to pick up a little bit. It's a big <laughs> backpack. <laughs> and it's, the it's reason girthy. yeah the <laughs> reason that i have this backpack is that i carry a lot of electronics i actually <laughs> carry <laughs> i actually carry our xbox with us which is what we <laughs> use to watch tv we're in hotels and stuff uh, computers cameras and everything but the thing about this backpack is this is a hard shell so mm -hmm. uh and that is great. And water and, resistant. And then at the top, there's a hard shell here too. So anything I put in there, it's not going to get crushed. Mm -hmm. And you never really know when you're going to have to squeeze it into a tight space. Mm -hmm. I have had backpacks in the past. I used to have a, a Microsoft Surface. I put in a backpack and the backpack mm. then the surface cracked. It was terrible. Yeah, that was sad. That was bad. And I'm going to show you one more thing about this backpack that I have attached to it right here, which is this little guy. Yeah, maybe we can pull it off. Yeah, probably easier. I'll let you show it. <laughs> okay. So, you know, often, I don't know about you guys, but we like to have a straw instead of drinking out of a, out of a glass. A lot of times we find ourselves um, wanting a straw. And so this little tube, you just unscrew it. And this guy is a nice metal straw that you can have with you at all times and it comes uh we actually bought the kit with two of them and again mm -hmm. that's on on the website groundlifetravel.com we bought the kit that brings two of them so we, we each have our own um, and it comes with the little brush uh that you clean these with as well and it comes with see these blue little tips um it's soft so that you don't like you know crush crunch your teeth on there or something mm -hmm. um because that doesn't feel great either on these metal ones and so it has that little tip on there and then you can actually make it any size so if you have a small glass um, then you can make it smaller or you can fully extend it totally up to you but if it's perfectly and you get it all nice and clean and with the little you know rubber tip on the top it's perfect and ta-da look at how easy that is and Rob just has his on his backpack I do on mine as well um, because it makes life so much easier so he showed you his I'm gonna show you my backpack as well it's a little bit different now, obviously, I've had this for a while. <laughs> One of the things I like to get 
when we're traveling abroad is if I see a really cool pin. So that's what all the pins are. Um, if you see me on the train, I'm more than happy to explain them all to you. But I have all these fun things on here. This is my straw is in here. Um, and so it has all these quick zipper pockets and it also has a safety um, pocket inside and it has this padding in the back as well and then for me is important to have this strap here that hooks onto the handle of the suitcase so that is the perfect backpack for me a little bit different than rob's backpack um you know we each have different purposes mm -hmm. right yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and my backpack also that hard surface is actually used to launch a drone mm -hmm. from. so that's yeah. also pretty cool which we have done <laughs> which we have done a lot so <laughs> now the next thing i'm wearing and it is this cardigan why because i'm always cold <laughs> and one of the things we talk about um if you saw in our recent video um unwritten rules of amtrak one of the things was about the temperature and uh you know instead of me going around complaining about how i'm cold all the time can they make it warmer and then make everybody else in the train car sweat i carry this with me and i've got long sleeves if i want them or if i just wanted to cover my shoulders because i'm wearing a short sleeve shirt or whatever i have that with me and this is nice and warm and sometimes i even sleep with it if i think it's cold um in, in you know in the the train car as well so this is really nice and then the other thing i always have with me as well and this is usually tied to the top of my backpack is this scarf so this is also it's a wrap scarf you can pashmina whatever you call whoop sorry <laughs> <laughs> That's not the first time that's happened. Notice he barely moved. <laughs> um, you can just wrap that around yourself nice and comfy and you give yourself a little extra layer if you don't want to wear something like this cardigan that I have on. So that's another option as well. Like I said, I always have that with me in case of emergencies. This is Allie's <laughs> neck pillow. And this is important because you never know when you're going to want to sleep mm -hmm. sitting in coach or mm -hmm. even just in the room at we'll yeah. use them if you so. want to sit up or like you want a little extra you know support for your neck or sometimes the pillows can be a little bit soft on the train yeah. as well i squish this and put it underneath the regular pillow if i want to be elevated a little bit more like if i feel the pillows a little bit too soft so that is something i really enjoy and obviously i like cats and that's why i chose this one haha <laughs> shout out to fellow cat lovers i can't own one <laughs> <laughs> we have uh another electronic what's inside it's my kindle <laughs> so it's uh i'm in the middle of reading a book but um this is the kindle oasis and I really like this one because it's you can switch sides so see how if I switch it because so if you're right-handed or left-handed you can switch which way you hold it and the buttons front and back and it also is waterproof as well which is super helpful for me when we're traveling and I love to to read so I've always got you know quite a few books loaded on here so if you love to read um, and you travel or you like you know you move around a lot and you don't want to have the actual paperback books this is the way to go Yes, I would prefer to be reading a real book and the smell of the pages. I really love that. But unfortunately, that's one of the things I have to give up. But this is a good compromise because I can have my books with me all the time. Mm -hmm. Easy breezy. And you know what's amazing too is, is I love how long the battery lasts on this. Um, and uh, just that, you know, that I don't have to worry about it. I could read for a week and not have mm -hmm. to worry about charging it sometimes longer. One of the things you may notice in our videos is that Allie is always facing forward mm -hmm. the way the train is going and I'm always facing backward. And the reason <laughs> is, is that she gets motion sickness. I do not get any type of motion mm -hmm. sickness at all. And so we have to combat that. And so, but there are times when she is facing uh, backwards mm -hmm. and if that happens she does start to feel sick so what do mm -hmm. we have for that yes so i uh, you've probably heard me talk about this before or if you've you know sent in a comment on one of our videos asking what it is that i do for motion sickness now we figured it out pretty early that sitting 
facing the direction of travel really helps me personally but every once in a while we end up going the wrong way that happened to us one time i think mm -hmm. in spain where the train was going in the opposite direction and they didn't switch the car so anyways i use these ginger um, chews it's basically just like a dehydrated ginger um, and it just really helps to settle your stomach these are extremely helpful i do not travel anywhere without a baggie of these as a matter of fact i ran out of the ones that i buy at home off of amazon and i actually bought these in italy so these are <laughs> these are um ginger uh chews from italy but i have these with me all the time cannot travel without them absolutely right. not this is another must-have item it is a portable charger and plug it Whoop. there it looks like this and so you can see we have 67 percent battery left on this <laughs> thing right now it's and awesome what it comes with is just a couple usb ports you can plug stuff into so you charge this up mm -hmm. on an outlet and then it holds a battery and it'll charge a lot of stuff it'll charge a couple mm -hmm. phones yeah. and anything yeah so it'll charge um up to two things at once it does have three slots so we've upgraded this one we used to have the one that was just usb this one has usb usb c usb and it does have a little flashlight in there as well if you hit the on button twice the flashlight here turns on in case you need it for something um and then as rob showed you earlier it shows you on the screen here what percentage you have left so this is really fantastic really good company really great product um and we love that it does have the usb c because um, yeah. the, quite a few things um, these days are switching to the USB-C, right. so you're, it's nice to have that. As a matter of fact, Rob's phone charges with USB-C, yeah. so that's one of the main reasons, his new phone, so one of the main reasons why we switched is so that we could charge his phone as well. So we can actually charge both of our phones. He has an Android, I have an Apple. Um, we can usually charge them both at the same time, and sometimes we even charge other things like the batteries to the GoPro. It really is a great battery pack. It lasts, it can charge two phones completely to 100 if they were like drained off of one charge yeah so it's really good nice product uh next up is the hand sanitizer wipes mm -hmm. that's going to be pretty self-explanatory uh -huh. <laughs> just bring some with you <laughs> well you know sometimes one of the main things i think i end up using these for is the table in the room um you know sometimes yeah. people i think forget to tidy up after they've had their meal hint hint if you've ever done that um <laughs> to go ahead and wipe it down but sometimes it'll be like you know like if the train is bumping around and stuff and you're having a meal sometimes you know if you have a spill drink it'll stuff. spill out spill your juice or coffee or soda or whatever um onto there so these are great to just uh wipe things down and keep things clean in your room as you go then we have entertainment purposes. Uh -huh. We have a tablet uh, <laughs> that we bring, and this is a Samsung Galaxy S6 Plus, mm -hmm. I think. <laughs> S6 Plus. We've had it for several years, it mm -hmm. works fine. I think with a tablet, you don't really have to have the newest, greatest, latest one, mm -hmm. because I'm just watching videos on it, mm -hmm. on the train, and. Mm -hmm sound isn't that important because you're mostly hearing <laughs> the caboose but i i watch stuff on this at night up on the uh, upper bunk <laughs> and sometimes we'll watch a movie together mm -hmm. yeah and it's great so yeah you can have an ipad you can have this mm -hmm. uh, like she said all my stuff is android so this is an android tablet <laughs> she has an ipad mini right you have an i iPad do mini. i have an ipad mini and but this is bigger so mm -hmm. we use this one yes we use that to watch movies uh, and then like at night one of the other things <laughs> you really need to think about is snacks on the train mm -hmm. and so we like to have something that has protein this is what i am currently going with this is the grenade carb killer <laughs> fudge brownie <laughs> flavor it's pretty good yeah uh and you they have all different flavors Mm -hmm. We also like the Nugo bars for that. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can get those, yeah. orange is good. Yes, the orange smoothie uh, is so your that, favorite. That's good. And then <laughs> we also like to have some fruit because that's tough to get on the train. And so we travel with this dried mm -hmm. fruit. And yep. this is uh, dehydrated mango. Mm -hmm. We also definitely carry the strawberries. Strawberries, with sometimes cherries. Yeah, and mm -hmm. that is that is great. So... 
I think that has covered everything. Is there anything I don't I think we have so. Hit? We no, no, nope, there's one it. more thing. No, nope, we ah. have to do the water bottle. Oh, yes. Aha. So yes. The uh, alley has this <laughs> swell water bottle mm -hmm. and my current one. Yeah. There was a mishap with my last bottle. It did break. It was actually on the same train that Rob lost his Expos hat. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> it, was it was the Alaska. A bad train ride right in Alaska. It was the Alaska Railroad. Uh, but you, it's good to have a water bottle with you. This this one will keep the water mm -hmm. uh, quite cold. Cold for a while, yeah, yeah for a while. which is really nice. Um, because you do get, I mean, it depends on how you like your water. Sometimes I like room temperature and it's room temperature when you get it in the room. But if you ask for ice, you can get ice as well um, and get cold water. But I always have water with me anyways, because we're always, you know, yeah. thirsty, always moving about or whatever, or just want something to drink after we had a snack. So it's really good to, um, to have a, yeah. a water bottle. I'm going to mention one more thing, and this isn't something you need to have with you, but we get a lot of questions about this, so I'll try to answer it for everybody right here. For all that this most, uh, well, really just ladies have asked me this question, but a lot of people ask me about my Wonder Woman bracelet, <laughs> and mm. someone even offered to buy it off of me. Um, but this is Alex and Ani. Alex, A-L-E-X, and Ani, A-N-I, is the company that makes it. And it came out when the first Wonder Woman just came out, uh, I think 1983. I think it was the name of the movie, Wonder Woman 1983. Um, it came out then, and I, don't, I, don't, I think they just sold out of them. I've tried to track them down to send people the link. I can't find them anywhere, so I don't think you can find them anywhere. And the answer is no, I will not sell you mine because it was a gift from Rob. <laughs> eBay, you might find them on eBay. <laughs> but you might find them on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> but I do get so many questions about that yep, bracelet. That and thank true. you. I do love Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> so that is everything that we travel with that is special for Amtrak. Mm -hmm. And if you're going on Amtrak, Pick up a few of these things that mm -hmm. that are gonna uh, suit your yes. your taste because they will make your trip that much better. And yep. most of the stuff is pretty cheap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty outside of the electronics. The electronics. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna make your experience a mm -hmm. whole lot better. If you have things that you can't live without, put that in the comments too for <laughs> other people to see. I know some people are gonna say duct tape. Ah, uh, yes. We don't generally travel with duct tape. We just let it ride as far as the <laughs> stuff rattling or the air. Condition. I never really wanted to divert the air from the top bunk. I always want it cold up there. And people generally use duct tape to block the air. Mm -hmm. So not a problem. I don't yeah. use duct tape for that. But I know that's one that other people yeah. like to use. So. Yeah. Good. Well, hopefully this is helpful to everybody. Um answers all of your questions of all of the items you guys are seeing in our videos and asking us about tried to get them all into one video for you as i mentioned it is over on the blog at groundedlifetravel.com and we'll also link the article in the description of this video as well and so you click the link to the the article and all of the items will be listed there thank you guys so much for watching we will catch you on our next video